Hi everyone, Vin here from the People's Internet Radio.com. In the journal.ie, Hogan, water pressure will be turned down to a trickle for people who don't pay. The reason they can turn your water pressure down and not off is quite important to understand because that is acknowledgement that water is a human right, and they know it. Also, it begs the question, have the provisional government uh, decided to no, to no longer adhere to the seven elements of contract law, which of course are offer, acceptance, consideration, performance, capacity to contract, lawful certain terms, and an intention by both parties to form a legally binding contract. This would seem to be the case, as they appear to be forcing water meters onto people. So it begs the question, does the provisional Irish government now condone the use of the date rape drug Rohypnol? Effectively, it's the same thing, is it not? There is no offer, acceptance, consideration, but there is performance, and it's forced. And that's what's known as rape. So is the provisional government actually raping the Irish people by forcing water meters onto us? Whatever happened to no means no. If you no longer have the choice about who you contract with, emotionally, physically, or commercially, then you are a slave. In the Irish Examiner, carbon monoxide alarms to be mandatory. And again, interestingly, these alarms, even though, of course, Nobody can object to having an alarm such as this in their home because it will save lives. However, what's the bets? These alarms will probably end up being smart meters too. Interestingly, when I went looking for the website that was mentioned, I got this, carbonmonoxide.ie, and just the one word test, even though it is promoted in the article. When I went to Network Tools to do a search, I got the following. Board Gas Aaron carbonmonoxide.ie, a body corporate discretionary name, you can see there, there's the details, and a Michael Dwyer, um, and there's uh, other details there as well. So, again, it begs the question, do we have no choice? Do the population of Ireland no longer have any choice? If that is the case, that we have no longer got a choice, perhaps those in the provisional government should come out and just say so. I've put some interesting posts on the Facebook page as a Facebook group, uh, PIR Face, and uh, I highly recommend you go there and have a look. There's lots of activity on there at the moment. Plenty to read, plenty to think about, plenty to talk about. This is Vin from People's Internet Radio. Hopefully, talk to you all soon.